think every culture has some kind of story or tale about an animal from the sea that actually is part female. It really stems, I think, believe, from sailors being out in the sea for such a long time that when they see these animals briefly come out of the water, they're thinking of it or dreaming or wishing that it's, it's a female. just amazed by how graceful and elegant the creature is. You're not thinking Jacques Cousteau, but more thinking about body, shape, um, and a relationship to human figure. The text is based on the original Little Mermaid, which is quite a frightening tale. You know, she's uh, in love with a, a prince who doesn't realize that she's just a human inside this part animal kind of form, a mermaid. And she gives up in order to lose her tail and for them to turn into feet, they cut off her tongue. It's about that exchange and the tragedy for, for love and for beauty and for this, you know, wanting to be something else. And then all the elements in the show, whether it's this kind of odd, eerie, branch sculpture piece, which is on the one hand you have something delicate and beautiful, on the other hand the wire is scraggly and it's not in the standard beauty, so it's that kind of contradiction of beauty with a price. Mm -hmm. 